be a cavalry charge. 1200 meters, cavalry charge from the 1200 meter marker. Calling from left to right, shaken, not stirred, the first one to begin. Down the centre of the course, Sabrina Fairchild flying the star. Yachters down the middle on the outside, Maya Louise. Family favourites on the inside, Casa Rosada, Bird Watcher. Diamond Girl, the blue cap. Then we have Ariana Spinner. Big Sky Countries, one off the outside. The Grey New Orleans on the extreme outside. 600 to go. They're using the entire track. Airbus further back. Queen Mercury. Give me a lullaby. Yachter down the centre of the course. Shaken, not stirred. Flying the star. On the outside, My Eloise. Big Sky Countries trying to come forward. Diamond Girl, the blue cap. 300 metres to go. Flying the stars on the inside. Yachter still right there. And Diamond Girl's a runner. Flying the star. Hanging to the inside, flying the star with the lead. On the outside, Diamond Girl towards the inside, Maya Louise. Big Sky Country's coming late. Diamond Girl's going to get them all. Diamond Girl on the post. Photos, Big Sky Country running on. Casa Rosada flying the stars on the inside as they dash past the post. Flying the star hang right across towards the inside. And number nine, Diamond Girl gets them all. Flying the star on the inside. Holding on probably ahead of Big Sky Country. No, Big Sky Country gets up second, I think. Big Sky Country second, Flying the Star third, Casa Rosada fourth, Yata fifth. So Diamond Girl timed it right. Big Sky Country came swooping through. Flying the Stars on the inside, Casa Rosada Yata. You'll see in the head on, Flying the Star goes across the inside group and they finish in a heap. 300 to go, Flying the Star. It's just about the leader, Diamond Girl, the blue cap. Five off the right, Big Sky Country, right hand side. And here's Flying the Star now from right to left. Goes across Casa Rosada and Family Favourite as they come down to the line there. See those two runners having to ease and Diamond Girl picks it up strong. Big Sky Country with a late flourish for second as they hit the post. Back to the studio. Welcome back to the winners area where we've got uh, the connections of Diamond Girl here and this philanthropist filly has been rewarded for her consistency and she's won a superb race getting up in the shadow of the post. It's also lovely to have trainer Dennis Dreyer back on course and again back in the winners enclosure. We'll talk to him in a few moments. But Goodman is the gentleman, Goodman Kubalo is the gentleman that grooms and loves and looks after Diamond Girl and for that he gets 2,000 Rand. Goodman, congratulations. Enjoy the money. Well done. Thank you very much. Wonderful. <laughs> Let's say, uh, Sean's back. Sean's back. We'll talk to Dennis last. And uh, well done, Sean. Okay, well, we'll just hold for a moment because that's the objection hooter. So let's all just stand still and hear what they have to say. Sheldon, take it away. Please note, a stipendry steward has lodged an objection. Fourth against third. Interference in the latter stages. So the fourth place, number two, Casa Rosada. Against five, Flying the Star. Closing stages. Thanks very much, Sheldon, for that uh, information. And let's get back to Sean and Diamond Girl. I was saying it's a filly that you know very well. And uh, she's just been rewarded for her consistency. She very seldomly runs below par. Yeah, you know, last two runs have been, been below par, Warren. Well done to the boss. He decided to put a tongue tie on this filly because she hasn't been finishing her races. A couple of races look like she's going to win for us. And she just stopped so well done to him. And taking the blinkers off, she traveled beautiful today. She picked them off nicely. I still didn't think I'm going to get there because she was sort of looking around. 
But she dug down and she won a very good race. Well done to the team again. Mrs. Dreyer, Mr. Dreyer, Stewie Kerry. Kerry done a lot of work on this filly. Well done to her and obviously to my sponsors, John Doe. Thank you very much for all the support. I really appreciate it. It's been quiet by my standards, you know, and I'm just glad to be back here so quickly. What do they say? It's hard to keep a good man down. Well done. A double for today. Yes, you know, just well done again to the team and obviously to the Rattray family. I only heard in the parading that Mr. Rattray passed away. He was a big supporter of the game. A lot of yards he had horses by us, so I've ridden a couple of winners for him. So to his family, I dedicate this one to them. And uh, all the racing fraternity strength lies with his wife and their family. Thank you very much. Well done to you, Sean. Congratulations. Let's get Dennis in. And I think, Dennis, it would be remiss, before we talk about Diamond Girl and uh, this filly owned by Jill, it would be remiss if we didn't continue on what Sean says to the Rattray family because they've been supporters of yours and Jill's and of the racing industry for so many years. Well, absolutely. I mean, uh, Mike's been a legend throughout his whole life in anything that he did. You know, whether it was Game Farms, Polo, Chairman of Durban Turf Club, I mean, you know, it, it just goes on and on and on. So I didn't really know the rest of the family, but to Norma and all the siblings, uh, our prayers are with you. And we've lost a great man to racing. Yeah, we certainly have, Dennis. I couldn't agree with you more. We certainly have. But uh, he was suffering, and uh, may he now rest in eternal peace. Let's go back to Diamond Girl, a filly that... Yes, Sean said last two runs may have been a little disappointing, but she wasn't far off, and her overall efforts are normally very good. Yeah, well, that's what I said to Stewie. Listen, this filly's not bringing her work to the track. I said, let's take the blinkers off, and I said, put a tongue tie on her. She's not finishing off her races. And, you know, I don't think you have to be a genius. you just got to try these different things with these horses. And, uh, well, let's hope... It looks like the tank tie work, and let's hope she can go on and win another one or two for Jill. Uh, Jill is distraught she can't be here. Um, we move in after 43 years from our place at Summerfelt to another little place in Summerfelt, and Jill's busy doing all the move. So, geez, you know, without Jill, I don't know where I would be. And to James and Joy, thanks so much for leasing the filly to us. And I thought a bloody good ride by Sean. Yeah, he's, uh, he said he, he thinks a little quiet by his high standards, but everyone goes through a bit of a quiet patch, and you and him are bouncing back fiercely now. Well done. Yeah, listen, I think we've all been in the game long enough to know that the graph is not going to stay at the top forever and ever, and year in and year out. So... You just keep boxing on and you don't change anything. You don't start changing feed and charging, changing work patterns. It comes right. It certainly does, Dennis. Lovely chatting to you and uh, all the very best here. Diamond Girl and Jill. Yeah, well, I think this could be your nickname for, from Dennis. You are his Diamond Girl because he said in his interview he would be nowhere without you. Well done to you, Jill, and uh, all the very best with your move from home A to home B. Diamond Girl is one, nine, fourteen, five, and two. And I'm sure with this move, with this win under the belt, it'll make the moving pains a lot easier.